Welcome back to DAX for Humans. In this episode, we are going to be installing Power BI Desktop. There are a few different ways of getting the Power BI Desktop application. We're going to cover the easiest, most straightforward, and recommended approach here. Now, I'm using Windows 11, so if you're using Windows 10, things might look a little different, but the steps are the same. So at the bottom of your screen, you should see a search bar. So in this search bar, you can click it and just type the word store. And we're just going to click it. That will launch the Microsoft Store application. And once it loads, we'll type in Power BI Desktop into the search bar. And it should recommend Power BI Desktop as an app. So go ahead and click that. And that'll bring up the Power BI Desktop app page. Where you can see a preview of like some of the kinds of visuals that you can create. Uh, a description of the program. And all we're going to do is we're just going to click the install button. So what this is going to do is this will download the Power BI desktop application and install it all, in, all at the same time. Okay, it's all done downloading and it's installing. It says it's completed. And you can actually open it right from the Microsoft Store application. So if you click open, it's going to go ahead and launch Power BI Desktop. So next time I'll be actually giving you a tour of this and we'll be entering some data in that. Um, but for right now, what I'd like you to do is right click the Power BI icon and just say pin to taskbar. And what that will do is that makes sure that your that Power BI Desktop is always uh, ready to be launched right from your taskbar and that'll make it easier for you to find it um, as we uh, explore more about Power BI Desktop in later videos. So right now you can just go ahead and click the, close the application, close the store, and as you can see the icon remains in your desktop, in your taskbar, and you can move it around to where you want it. And that's the end of this video. So hope to see you next time where we'll actually get into Power BI Desktop and start uh, start giving you a tour of the interface and entering some data.